Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can animate props to create a cool dance sequence like this and have the props rotating around the character. So without further ado let's crack on with the tutorial. First we're going to just load up our actor here and I'm just going to load up a quick actor and uh, we'll just use the Camilla Avatar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a couple of props and we're gonna put them around this character and then we're actually gonna animate them to spin and get that really cool effect that you guys saw in the intro. So once the character's loaded, what we wanna do is just create a box. So we'll, we'll go to Primitive Shape and Box and then we're gonna create this box here. Now we're gonna hit R on our keypad and we're just gonna scale this down a little bit and we're just gonna squash it down here as well. And we can make it a little bit wider if we want, but we're just gonna squash that right down. And then we're just gonna fit that in place with our avatar. So we're just gonna drag that over and just really kind of slot that where we want that to end up. So we'll start off right here. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna duplicate this box. So we'll hold control and we'll drag down and we'll create a smaller box underneath her. Um, we're just going to make this a little bit smaller, so we're just going to scale that down by hitting R on our keypad and then we'll hit W and Control and we'll drag and duplicate another one of them for the top layer and we'll just drag this kind of right where her neck is and we're going to make this one a little bit smaller than the previous one just to kind of fit around her neck and then if you wanted we can then make a third one and a fourth one for the legs but I'll just make one more above the head and we'll make that a tiny bit smaller. Okay, perfect. So now we've got our character set up with the objects that we wanna animate around her. I'm gonna show you how to animate these objects and then get them in sync with the character. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop our motion onto our character. So I'm just gonna to go to my desktop. I'm just gonna drag and drop this motion onto my character here. And now if we play that back, we'll see we've got that really cool dance motion, which I will leave down below in the description so you guys can download that and then play around with that yourself and you know have a go at doing this tutorial so I'll leave that link below so you can download it now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the beginning and we're just going to basically start to animate these boxes to spin so we'll start from this one and in order to do that we're just going to click on our box and we're going to hit the E key and then we're gonna to go to the end point where the dance stops, so around here. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna twist this around a few times until you've got kind of as many twists as you fancy. And then if we go back to the beginning and hit play, you'll see the box will now start to twist around with our character. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing for each box. So we're just gonna to go to the beginning, click on the box, go to the end frame where we wanna end around here, and we're just gonna spin that box around a few times until we're happy with that. And we'll do the same thing for each one just by clicking on them and giving them a little bit of a spin. And then you will record the motion on the timeline. And you can see when I'm spinning them, it is giving us a keyframe here that indicates we have added some motion to the scene. So if we play that back now, you will start to see all the boxes begin to spin and move around. Now the trick is we're gonna add some cool textures to these boxes and we're gonna animate them, animate them when they're actually moving. So when the character moves to the left and right, we're gonna add some key points in there to actually adjust the animation. So firstly, what we wanna do is just to get it looking correct, we're just gonna add a glass texture to those boxes. So I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna search for glass and that should bring up the materials tab here. And we've got quite a few different textures in there. These come free with iClone 8, so you can find them in your folders. And once we apply it to one, it will affect all of the objects. And now if we hit play, you'll see we've got the cool looking glass effect with these glass boxes spinning around our character. And you know, it just really adds a cool perspective to it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean up the animation of the boxes. So you can see at certain points, if we're going a bit of a bird's eye view here, you'll see at certain points, it's not kind of in the middle of the character. So we just wanna get that more in the middle. I'm just gonna delete this keyframe here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna play it until the point where she steps and you can see it's just here where the box needs adjusting. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a keyframe here and then we're gonna go a little bit in time where it moves and we're just gonna adjust the box and move it over a little bit. Now, 
we're going to just get that positioned in the middle. And if we go to the beginning and play it, you'll see the box now moves over with the character. And all you're going to do is exactly the same thing for each individual box here. And we're just going to go and check exactly where they kind of go out of time. So here you can see she kind of goes to the right a little bit. So we just want to adjust this box. Just get it in the middle just to complete the effect. So it really is that simple, guys. All you can see I'm doing is just moving the uh, timeline over and just adjusting the offset of the box just a little bit. So just here, just want to bring that a little bit down here. And, you know, it takes a little bit of time, not too long at all. But once you get it done, you get an amazing, amazing animation, as you will see here. So we're just going to do that until it gets perfectly in the middle and you can see just here again, so we just because it's quite a long stretch of space, we want to add a new keyframe just so it doesn't alter with any of this motion here in this keyframe. We want to add a new one so it means after this, the changes we make will happen. So we'll just drag that a little bit down here, as you can see, perfectly in the middle. And it's just after that, it goes a little bit off here. So we just want to adjust it. So I'm just showing you kind of manually how to do it all step by step. So we'll just delete that last one there. And now that's perfectly done. And you can see that stays in the middle pretty much of the character. You could always adjust it and, you know, add and tweak it. And, you know, we'll do exactly the same thing for the other boxes. So we'll just see exactly when they move out of time. So as we can see here, she comes forward. So we'll just click on the box and then we'll just double click here. And we'll just drag that a little bit back because you just want it to start just as she goes forward. So just about there. And then we'll go here and we'll just drag that in place. So you can see what I'm doing, guys. It's really, really that simple. We're just adjusting the key points at certain times when the character moves and it kind of causes the offset to go a little bit wonky. We're just adjusting it uh, and just kind of moving it and repositioning it back in place. And you'll see um, what I'm doing really does have a cool effect because it is effectively following the character's movement so she doesn't kind of go too far outside of the box. And it just helps create the illusion of having the boxes really spinning around her and, you know, giving that cool, cool effect that you can see in the video. So just at this point, we just want to create again, create a free keyframe just because we've got a lot of space here. And if you added, if you don't add a keyframe and you just move the box, it's going to slowly adjust the movement in this time space. So you really don't want that. And we really want it to adjust kind of on time as she moves. So um, it's pretty simple. Um, again, it's just really about kind of just taking your time to go through it and picking out the individual parts where you need to add a new keyframe and then just moving it over and that will automatically set the keyframe for you. So you can see it does take a bit of time because, you know, we've got to do it over the whole motion. So it really, um, you know, can take a little bit of time, but, you know, with a bit of finesse, you're going to get some really, really incredible results. And, you know, unfortunately with this one, there is no shortcut. You do have to kind of put in the work and add the keyframes. And I've kind of got lost in my timeline here. So let me just drag that back. Okay. And then we'll just see how we're getting on with that. So if we go to the beginning here, we can see the box is spinning in place. And when she moves, it follows her around. So here we're a little bit out of time. So all we need to do just to fix that is we're just going to go here. And as the box is moving here, we're just going to delete this one. And we're just going to redo it. So just here, she moves. We're going to follow. And we'll do the exact same thing here. And we just want to check that that is accurate. So we'll just get a better perspective on it. I'm just going to go back here. That looks good to me. And then we're just going to go here. So you can see quite, quite time consuming, no shortcuts. But again, as I say, if you just take the time to fine tune and finesse it properly, you do get some incredible, incredible results that you're going to be really, really happy with. So we're just going to get this lined up perfectly. OK, so we'll just play that back from here and just see how that looks. OK, perfect. We can see the box uh, is following her. So I'll play it in real time just so we can actually watch it. 
Okay, brilliant, it looks really cool. So that pretty much is how you do that, guys. And then what you're gonna end up with is results like this. So it really is a great way to kind of animate the boxes and just get some cool effects going, some cool kind of animation and you know some cool artwork and you can add some really cool lights and backdrops and then you're going to get the end results looking like this so i really hope that tutorial helps don't forget to download the motion below and i really hope to see you guys creating some really awesome animations just like the one i've shown you it really is that simple and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial